What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So a few announcements before we get started. This shirt is not available. All right, the level up shirt not available. A lot of you guys asked, where can I get one? I'm just gonna answer it in this video to clear it up. My buddy started a business trying to sell these level up and uh, there was already a patent on it. So unfortunately, I can't even sell them because he got like a thousand shirts made. He gave me a few of them, but I can't distribute them because there's a patent, all right? So sorry guys, nowhere to buy them, nowhere to get them. That's that. Uh, secondly, I would like to develop a shirt. I do not know how to make a logo. I could probably draw a stick figure, but I don't want that to be my logo. I'd like it to be nice, something to be, you know, something cool. So if any of you guys got experience with design, shoot me an email and I'd like to work with you. Of course, I'll pay you. Uh, we'll figure something out. Maybe you could help me come up with something. I have a few ideas I'd like to bounce off you. But shoot me an email. I will leave you my email down below. And guys, you already know if you want to talk about something, um, you know, I, I get a lot of emails. So it's hard for me to respond. But I do see them. All right. So if you got a video topic or something, link me down below and maybe you will see your email in, as a video. All right. Very cool. Next thing in two days. We will be releasing the new Monk Mode Box program. So many of you guys know Monk Mode Box is my business. It's been around for over a year now. We got a bunch of guys in there. So when you sign up, you're going to get access to a year's worth of workouts, hours of bonus footage never before seen, never put on here. Um, and you're going to get access to the mastermind group. We have over 300 men and no women. No women are allowed. Okay. Uh, sorry, ladies. Sorry about that, but you will get access to all that. And then in two days, we will be dropping the brand new workout program that you guys can just jump into and for a month long. All right. I'm also going to call the first 10 people that sign up. So in the next two days, the first 10 people I'm calling 15 minute to 30 minute windows where we're going to talk. I look forward to that. Um, also guys, a lot of you don't have PayPal, or I'm sorry, you don't have a credit card. So if you want to support the channel or you just want to get these rewards, I put them all on Patreon. All right. So I will call you and I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to make it happen for you. I'll shoot you the workout routine. I'll help you with your macros, whatever it is. Check out the Patreon because you can support the channel with your PayPal. All right. Very easy to do. So check it out. Um, let's move on to the main point of this video. So I've been talking to a bunch of you guys on the phone international we're going worldwide and one of the things I recently talked about with a friend is laconic phrases he said Eli you should look into how the Spartans would talk to each other with these laconic phrases and what they are is blunt terse very concise brief phrases like this and as I'm looking into them it was very alpha, very manly. Um, some of these phrases, for, for example, one of them was when Philip II from Macedon was going through all these cities and he was just pillaging them. He was destroying them. And he sent a message to the Spartans. He said, look, guys, if I come through Lakovia, I'm going to wipe you out. I'm going to destroy you. He said, if I come through, I'm going to destroy you and you will never rise again. And the Spartans sent a message back to him. And it was just one word. If. If you destroy us. If you decide to step foot in our land. Simple as that. If. Right to the point. There's another famous Spartan story of a mother. And it's the shortest one ever. A Spartan mother handed her son his shield as he prepared to march off to battle. She said, come back with this or on it. Imagine if your mother told you that. Boy, I'm going to send you out. You better find a way to make it or just suffer and starve to death. You know how many mothers are like that? A lot of our mothers just coddle us and overly overbearing, man. A lot of our mothers don't want us to leave the nest. Oh, my little baby, my little boy. You know, mama's boys. 
they always worried about us, always dressing us up, making sure we got enough, making sure we're comfortable, bringing us soup, bringing us Tylenol whenever we're alone, right? Anyway, I think that's one reason a lot of us become soft. We become like our mamas. We don't have that father figure. Uh, we talked about that, though, in a few other videos. So what I'm talking about with these laconic phrases is that in order, or uh, what this showed us is that the Spartans had like a warrior spirit. So these phrases, when you talk to yourself like this, this is an extension of having a sound mind. A lot of us these days are very fearful and we're all in our heads. That's all we are. And so when we talk to ourselves, we talk to, talk to ourselves with like all of this theory and all of this stuff that other people talked about. We're not like Spartans where we just get to the point, we slash it out with our sword of truth and we make things easy. All right. A lot of us are filled with fear. Here's an instance. A lot of, a lot of people these days have trouble just calling the pizza man up. Like a lot of young men get nervous ordering a pizza online. We could just, or we could just go online, but ordering a pizza over the phone has become anxiety inducing for a lot of men. Cold approaching women cause a lot of anxiety. Uh, answering the phone, selling, a lot of anxiety. Getting on camera, a lot of anxiety. We're so up here, we don't have a sound mind. And guys, it's only when you stop thinking you give up the overthinking, give up you trying to always be figuring things out. Now you can just let it go. And from a sound mind is where you have zero fear. So we shouldn't be afraid of these things. We shouldn't be afraid to step up to the plate, to do what needs to be done. That's what the Spartans were, were doing. They didn't have fear, dude. Do you think they feared dying? I mean, maybe if they sat around and really thought about it. But they didn't have fear. That's why they could respond in such blunt ways. This reminds me of how a parent is with his son. He, you know, a mother is going to sit there and like explain away everything. A father's just going to be like, "Don't do that, boy. He's going to smack you upside the head. He's going to take off his shoe or get a get a a hanger and just beat the shit out of you and teach you a lesson." You know, he's going to tell you right from wrong. And I believe that's how we should also be inside of our heads. We shouldn't be back and forth. We shouldn't be overthinking. We shouldn't be second guessing ourselves having a double mind. Should I go up to her? Should I not? Dude, you either go up to her or you suffer the consequences of not going up to her. Simple as that. All right. If you don't go to work, then you suffer the consequences. You're going to starve. You're not going to have any food. All right. If you don't work out, suffer the consequences and get fat. Simple as that. It's, it's literally as simple as that. We have to be more direct. We have to become the fathers of ourselves. We have to become our own parent. The quickest point from point A to point B, you want to beeline that route. Okay? You want to be as simple as possible. The way you do that is you get to know yourself. You ask yourself questions. Why am I doing the things? So say you're fucking up. Say you're watching porn and you're masturbating all the time. And uh, you're doing drugs. You don't go to sleep on time. Just ask yourself, why am I doing this in the first place? And be real with yourself. All right. A lot of you guys are just bored. You say, or no, a lot of you guys are running from something else. You're boredom. So what's wrong with being bored? Relax into the boredom. Be bored for a little bit. A lot of you guys say that you lack motivation to go to the gym. Ask yourself, why am I not motivated? Dude, it's not that you're not motivated. All right. Something else is getting in the way. You're running from something else. You're, you're, uh, you can't go to the gym. Why? Do your damn laundry. You know, get your clothes out, get your clothes ready. Or there's girls at the gym that you're scared of, or you're scared of people judging about judging you. Well, stop judging other people. Simple as that. Then you won't judge yourself. Stop judging yourself. Get yourself to the gym. Make things simple. See, I'm just do this, do this, do this. Stop judging yourself. Forgive yourself. Stop being angry. It's always that simple. Nef nothing is that complicated. It's not meant to be that complicated. So get out of here. Get more into here. Get more into feeling, you know, being honest with yourself. And if, and if you know, instead of running to me and saying, oh, bro, I need help with the porn. 
I need help with sticking in 90 days of NoFap. Then, you know, just say to yourself, well, I'm just going to die. And I'm going to have to pay the consequence if I don't figure this out. If I don't make my life better, if I don't take responsibility, I'm just going to die miserable and lonely. Simple as that. No mama there to say, it's okay, my boy. No, you got to be the father now. You got to be the man. You got to take responsibility. Become like the Spartans. All right, look into some how the Spartans talk to each other. They're just very direct, um, astute in their in their uh, in their wording. All right, no bullshit. Don't bullshit yourself too much. You start believing your own bullshit. All right, so that's it. Check out the Mongo Box. Check out the Patreon. Support the channel. Help me keep this thing going, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace.